Hey everybody, Necro VMX here, and I decided to do something a little bit different with this video. Uh, these are my YouTube pet peeves. It's not really a rant, sort of a list. Now, I'm not ranting about YouTube itself. I think YouTube is a wonderful place. I'm glad I found that. I'm glad I've become a part of it. And I'm glad that so many people on YouTube have accepted me and my videos, and that I have so many subscribers. However, there are things that irritate me, and it's mostly about the people on YouTube. So here, I'm going to list, uh, let's see, I think I got 11 pet peeves. These are 11 things that really bother me about YouTube and the YouTube community. Number one, people who post first comment. Please don't do this. This is so ridiculously lame. You know why it's lame? Because nobody really cares. Nobody cares if your comment is the first, eighth, one thousandth, or one millionth. Now, I gotta admit, I'm a little bit tickled that people think that my videos are popular enough and good enough that, you know, they have to be the first comment and they have to point that out. But really, I think it's stupid. Please put some thought into what you post. Don't just post first comment. All that's gonna happen is you're gonna get voted down by other people, marked as spam, and you look like a loser. Just don't do it. Number two, I'm not looking for notes, people. Please don't give me unsolicited advice, especially if it's on how to play a game. These videos, they're for comedy. They're for fun. I don't know how to play some of the games, and that makes the video even more amusing. Now, the kind of people that like to go, oh, you're so stupid, all you're supposed to do in that level is this, this, and this, and you don't know how to play this game, it's really good. They're the same kind of people who don't think the videos are funny. Just go elsewhere. Please don't bother me with that kind of crap. I don't care. I don't care if I'm playing the games well or even correctly. All I care about is that some people like the videos and that they laugh at the things I say. When I do a playthrough, then I care. But I'm only going to do playthroughs of games that I know how to play. So just don't give me any advice and, and it's, you know about anything unless I ask for it. No unsolicited advice. Okay, now number three. This one I've been kind of quiet about, and when it comes up, I just ignore it. But I feel I should say something. Don't ask me where I get my games. Don't ask me where I get my ROMs. I'm not going to tell you. If you want to ask me what kind of emulator I'm using, what kind of software I use to make the videos, that's fine. I, you know, I kind of made a video about that, but you know, you want to ask me what, my, what kind of emulator I use, fine. You want to ask me where to find emulators, that's fine. Don't ask me where to find the games. It's a legal gray area. I'm not getting into it. Do not ask me where to find ROMs, okay? Just don't do it. All right, number four. Speaking about asking things, if you got a request, please, for the love of shit, try to be fucking polite about it. Try to have some fucking manners. Didn't your mama raise you right? Say please. Say thank you. What the fuck is wrong with you people? Don't just spit out the name of the game at me. As a matter of fact, with requests in general, it'd be great if you can tell me the name of the game and what system it's on. Just not, you know, spitting out a name. You know, or, or even worse, just being demanding, like, do a video on this. You know what? No, fuck you. Eat my asshole. Don't be like that. Please. I don't need that shit. I get enough rudeness in my day. I don't need to come on YouTube and get rudeness there. All right, number five. This one has always been a concern, and actually, it hasn't been that bad, as I thought it might be, but I feel I should bring it up. I'm not an AVGN ripoff. I'm not ripoff, nor am I trying to rip off the angry video game nerd. I have a lot of respect for what he does. As a matter of fact, I'm a big fan of what he does. I also really like the Nostalgia Critic. The Irate Gamer? Okay, well, he sucks. He's a plagiarist. That is an example of somebody ripping off AVGN. I'm not doing that. It, it, it's just not even... My videos are not even similar. Now, I've got a lot of comments telling me that I'm even better than AVGN, and I don't even believe that. I mean, I thank you for, for preferring me, but... It's like comparing apples and oranges, guys. He's doing scripted skits based on a character that he created. I'm just playing games and running off with my mouth, and some people happen to like it. Apples and oranges. Okay, number six. If you're going to post a comment, and I kind of touched on this earlier, put some thought into it. No nonsense. Don't just say a bunch of random stuff. Don't post like... I don't even know what half of this shit is that you guys say. I don't I don't get it. Like, if you get a response from me like, what the fuck, or are you on drugs, or what the hell was that supposed to mean? You know, it, it, it's just, I don't even know what it means. And please, only in English. I only speak English. Yeah, I can go through, you know, like a translator and translate what you say, but those things suck. I don't speak English, and I'm sorry, you know, but obviously if you're watching my videos and you're understanding what I say, then obviously you understand English. Because all of my videos are about me talking, and I only talk in one language, English. 
And I got nothing against other cultures. I got nothing against other languages. They're probably beautiful and great and everything. But I don't understand them. I was raised with English, and I've really never had the capacity to learn another language. And that's not being being dumb. It's just I'm not a language oriented person. I guess if you don't learn them very young, it's very hard to learn another language. And I'm really in, interested in learning another language right now. So please post only in English, because I don't understand other languages, and you obviously understand English if you're watching my videos. So please post in the same language. If you feel more comfortable in your own language, at least run it through a translator so I can kind of see what you're getting at. I can tell when somebody's coming at me with really bad English because it's not their first language, but at least they're trying, okay? And, you know, they'll usually say something like, sorry for my bad English, but you know what? Some of those people speak better than people who were born and raised in America, and that's actually kind of sad. But please, so put some thought into your post. No nonsense. Don't just post weirdness. I don't, I don't get your joke. You know, like, if it's some kind of reference, I'm not necessarily going to get it. Just don't start jabbering. Put some thought. I'd rather have five really good comments than 500 nonsense comments. Okay. Number seven, do not threaten me. First of all, I don't respond to threats. And the reason I don't respond to threats is because they're meaningless. It's the internet. You're not going to come to my house and beat me up. And even if you tried, I think you would be very surprised that you wouldn't even get close to me. It don't threaten me. It's stupid. It's illegal also. And I'm not, you know, like one of those people that's going to go run into, you know, FBI and shit to report somebody for threatening on me on YouTube because that probably happens millions of times, but it's not going to work. You're not intimidating. You're a laptop gangster, as Ace of the Comic would say. Just don't do it. It's stupid. It just makes you look ignorant. And, I mean, if you think that's, you know, the way to solve all your, you know, idiotic problems by, oh, I'm going to kick your ass. I've only had this happen once on YouTube, but, you know. Whatever. And that goes for threatening to hack or anything. I haven't had that happen yet, but just you don't do it. <laughs> Thankfully, that hasn't happened. Okay, that's number seven. Number eight is drama. I don't want to be involved in your drama. Please do not do this. Now, for some reason, there's one of my subscribers. This guy is named Bad Two-Face. He seems like an all right guy. I got no issues with him, but drama seems to follow him. Once, I had this other guy... I forget his name. He was telling me I should block Bad Two-Face, that I shouldn't be friends with him on YouTube, and I should not talk to him because, you know, he's a dick, he's an ass, all this shit. I, dude, he didn't do anything to me. There's nothing that this guy did that offends me or bothers me. He very rarely even leaves a comment, and when he does, there's, you know, nothing wrong with it. I don't know what Bad Two-Face ever did to you, but he didn't do anything to me, so I'm not about to block somebody for no reason. And yes, the other day, I had, you know, somebody else was getting into a drama with him, and they felt the need to drag me into it. Don't do that. I don't know, like, I'm sorry, Bad Two-Face, I have no problems with you if you're watching this video. I think you're all right, but my God, does drama follow you around? It's not your fault, it's the other people. The other people, shut the fuck up, stop with the drama, I don't care, I don't want to get involved in it, I'm here to say funny shit. Okay, number nine. <sighs> If you want to point something out to me in a video or answer a question, please read the other comments. I mean, do a little bit of thought. This goes into the whole putting thought into your things. You know, like, somebody, like, all right, an example, in my Mega Man 9 anti-rant, I said that I didn't know how many, you know, how much, you know, uh, money it costs to get it on the Wii, how much, you know, it, it, the ratio of Wii points to actual dollars. And very quickly, somebody told me, and then somebody else told me, and then somebody else told me. That video is a couple of months old, and I'm still getting people telling me, and I'm still getting people pointing things out that are either blatantly obvious, or have been pointed out five million times before, or sometimes they're just wrong. Like on the James Bond videos, I get, oh, Quantum of Solace isn't the 25th movie, it's the 22nd. No, it's the 25th movie. I'm not just counting the movies that Eon Films made, I'm counting all of them. And if you read the comments, you would know that. Because if you looked at the playlist it's in, there's 25 movie reviews in there. Because there's 25 movies. Alright. Number 10 is going to be a quick one. Don't insult my girlfriend. Period. Do not insult Julie. I will block you. She will mock you. And your name will be shit with me. I don't care what, you know, I mean, don't call her Yoko. Don't. I, I actually got that comment. Don't insult my girlfriend. Period. It, it's only happened like once or twice. It's not led to anything good. It's not going to get you anywhere. It's not going to make you into a big man. Don't do it. Number 11. This is the last one. This is the one that kind of bothers me most. 
Do not assume that because you watch my videos that you know me. You do not know me as a person. Do not try to psychoanalyze me. Do not try to be a therapist. Do not tell me what my problem is. Do not tell me, you know, um, that, you know, uh, my childhood was fucked up or, you know, I have no life or whatever. You don't know anything about me. All you know is what I do for about a half hour a day. That's how long it takes to do three videos in a day, a half hour, because they're 10 minutes long and it doesn't really take that long to save them and upload them. And I'm usually doing other shit. I have a life. I have a job. I have things I do. You don't know anything about me, and nobody on YouTube, except my friends, like my actual friends, really know me. Don't assume you know me. Don't talk to me like you know me. If you want to get to know me, that's great. I'm a very friendly guy. My AOL screen name is on my profile. But please, don't assume you know me. Don't try to analyze me. That's bullshit. All right. That has been my YouTube pet peeves. And you know what? I want to kind of start a thing here. You guys do these videos. You tell me what your video pet peeves are on YouTube. Make a video out of it. Put it as a response. I'll accept it. Maybe we'll start some kind of chain. See you next time, guys.